welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be doing a DIY airing uh, painting I'm not sure what exactly to call this um, project but we'll be doing it so I have an airing that I bought a few years ago about two years ago maybe about 2000 no 2018 2019 around that time love the design love the wooden airing love the tree of life um design on the wood piece it was an airing i'm a i am a hoop girl love my hoops you know always in a hoop but this airing i saw and i loved it because of the design on it but i i've I, I've never worn the earring and I think because I love black but for I, I wanted the, the the tree of life to pop and I said I was gonna get somebody else to do it I said maybe I'll figure out a way of doing it differently so the tree of life pops right had it had the intention of doing exactly what I'm doing right now to it never got around to it um, the other day since I started um, making my bracelets um, I I started making my bracelet uh, about a year ago really getting into it getting orders and I said you know what I'm gonna try my hand at doing it myself instead of having somebody else doing it I still didn't didn't get around to it the other day I just got up and I said you know what I am going to do it and I, I, I went to the store I went to Michael's I saw the paint. I was in the store. My kids and my kids said, "Why don't you try the dollar store? Um, if you're gonna do something like quickly and not really, you're not sure if you're if it's gonna work out." You don't have faith in me, you know. So, anyways, so I went to the dollar store. I forgot that the dollar store had paint. Cause you know you have kids, you have project for school, so you had to go to the dollar store to buy the paint. But anyways, I went to the dollar store. At the dollar store, I realized they had mud, mud, mud punch. I think that's the way you pronounce it, Mod Podge. Anyway, you have the matted one and the one that's shiny. So I bought those also. I bought different colors, paint, and I came home. It sat there for like maybe a month. I didn't do anything with it. And I said, yes, since I, summer is coming, my hair will be down, you know, my colors will be popping, you know, my favorite color is the Jamaican color. <laughs> what? Green, yellow, and black, of course. And also the rest of the fairing color, what? Red, what? Yellow, what? Green, of course, those are my colors. Anything, I don't know why. I, I love other colors, but I don't know why I always gravitate to those colors. But anyway, I decided that I'm going to do my earring. Because, you know, summer is fast approaching. I wanted to wear with whatever outfit I have. So And I have my bracelets already that I made for myself that, you know, always in my jamaican colors and my rest of fair and colors so i can match and anyways so i decided to do it today on video this is what i'm showing you uh, you'll see me doing first i think i scraped not scraped i buffed <laughs> the airing i didn't have any sandpaper but i had um files for my fingernails so i used one of those and i buffed the airing buffed or file the earring, whatever the word is, to get it a little smoother. It wasn't not smooth, to get it a little rough so the paint could actually stick to it. Um, so I did that in the beginning. I show, I showed you every all the items that I've been using. And then you saw me go to work on my earring. And w the design I was really going for, the, the paint, it was supposed to transition. The yellow was supposed to transition into the green. And the green was supposed to transition into the red. Yeah, it didn't work out that way. It worked out the way it did. And you'll see it. You'll see it at the end. I, sh I think you saw it in the beginning because I posted a picture first. And then in the end part, you'll see how it worked out. But it's a practice. I'm going to look for more wooden earrings and um, practice that transition from yellow to green. So it should be, you know, when the paint transition into green. Yeah, I'm going to practice and keep practicing until I get it. But anyways, I hope you like it, and um, you find you saw me use the mud, mud, mud punch, mud punch. Um, I use a glossy one. So after I painted, I let I let the earring sack for a few hours. Um, I didn't just paint it; I do it right away. 
I think it sat there for about four or five hours and then I came back and I did the mud podge on one side on the paint on the color side on the red green and yellow side and then I let that sat um, I think overnight and then I came back and I did the black part the back part of the earring and did a mud, mud podge on that part also and let that stay overnight so uh, in total the earring took me about three days to complete because I had to make sure that it's dry I had to make sure the paint dry I had to make sure the pot much podge dried and then I then you saw me finishing up and you see once you put the much podge when once you do the painting the painting is just blah once you put the mud pot mud podge over it it becomes very glistery and nice and shiny and then you saw me finishing up the airing with the the hardware putting back the hardware on the airing and um yeah i love my airing i hope you like it too uh, let me know what you think about it if you like it um i know i'm gonna wear it now because you know it's not just plain black i like colors i like bright colors and bright colors complement my skin tone so yeah hope you like it and uh, please like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you
Thank you.